Hey guys, I have had several requests on how to use these fault cubes. So I'm going to make this instructional video that hopefully will be helpful. Um, you can order these fault cubes on my website. They come with this handy dandy card that kind of explain it. You can also find Andy Cube up there. Fault Cube is Andy's little sister. Um, Andy also comes with this kind of instructional card as well. But in order to show you how to use this fault cube, I am going to be using a beautiful piece of rock that my friend Allie gave me. He found this in the field and thought of me. You can see this gorgeous surface. We have little slick and steps as well as little slick and lines on here. So let's get started. So let's dig into this fault cube. What you'll notice on this fault cube is that you have your three principal stresses with magnitudes. So you have sigma one, sigma two, and sigma three. Um, that's on all parts of the cube. Then here we have a fault cutting this cube diagonally. Now the orientation of that fault is in relationship to your principal stresses to where that kinematically would make sense. Now, if you take a look at this fault surface, you'll notice two features. You'll notice slick and lines and slick and steps. The slick and lines are these things that are parallel to that, that slip surface, these lines cutting through here. And the steps are these little perpendicular steps. Now, if I rub my finger across here, it's smooth in one direction along these steps and rough in the opposite direction. And so because of that, that allows this fault to slip in one direction and it can't slide back. It, it's just too rough. Those steps are keeping it from sliding back, but it can slide forward. So those slick and steps are indicators of the slip direction as well as those slick and lines. Now, if I had only slick and lines, of course, you could go to the right or to the left. But when you have those slick and steps as well, it tells you that this fault surface, the top part, can only go to the right. Now, we see those things in nature as well. You'll notice on this beautiful piece of rock, you can see the slick and lines. Let me hold my phone like this. You see these are going to the right and to the left. And in perpendicular to that, you can see little steps. You'll notice that these little steps have a bit of relief on them. So if I run my finger to the right, it's very smooth. I, I am going down the stairs. But if I move my finger to the left, it's actually very rough on my finger when I go over these steps. Now the sense of slip is gonna be in the smooth direction. So if there is the other piece of rock sitting on top of here, that would have moved to the right. And that's how I know the slip sense on that. The other thing that I have included on these fault cubes are your little secondary shears. So these would be your red and blue lines. They are synthetic and antithetic shears. A lot of times, especially in strike slip, we call those Rydell's and anti Rydell's. So the reds, those would be your Rydell shears. They have the same slip sense as the master fault. So I have that illustrated on here as well, where you can see the little arrows. The blue shears are your anti-rydels, anti and those are gonna have an antithetic sense of slip. So if, if this was a strike slip fault, if I step across the fault, this is gonna move to the right. So it's a right lateral strike slip fault. The reds are right lateral. The blue would be left lateral, and those would be antithetic to this fault system. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully if you want to get one of these cubes, you can take it to the field with you, especially if you're new to structural geology and you're trying to figure out those kinematics. These could be quite helpful to figure out the sense of slip whenever you run across these slick and lines and slip and steps. So hopefully that helps. Well, I hope you enjoyed that instructional video. Please be sure to visit my website where you can get fault cubes as well as Andy cubes. You can even get one of each of these guys for 50 bucks that comes with these nice little instructional sheets. So check it out.